This is cable TV, channel 26 and 99 now. And those are optional, so take a moment. A yoga class I taught on balance, posture. or you can stream it on cmcm.com. This is the end after the poses for relaxation. So if you're at your desk and watching this and just want to take a break, follow me and you can just enjoy just relaxing. Take a 10 minute relaxation break. Roll down to the floor like a fetal pose. Slide the legs up the wall, shift the hips center and adjust. This is optional. Pillow can be under head. I'm going to put it under my hips to give a little more like a shoulder stand effect. So the blood can flow to the heart. It's good for blood pressure. That's calming. It's an old posture, Viparita Karani. So close the eyes, settle into the body, into the breath. Hands are below the heart, so the heart doesn't have to work as much. Hands about a foot from the hips, back of hands on the earth. Roll the head side to side, and then find the head centered over the spine. Make any adjustments you need. Then drop into stillness with eyes closed, just watching the breath. You let go of every muscle in the body from the feet up through the top of the head. And silently repeat, I am relaxed. All is well. All is well. I am relaxed. And silently repeat, I am supported. Feel the earth supporting you. Repeat mentally, I am supported and it's safe to let go. You can make up your own affirmation, just reminding your body and mind to relax. I am relaxed, I am safe, all is well. I let go of that which I no longer need. Letting go, I let go with ease. some point just watch the breath without even trying to deepen it or change it just watch your natural rhythm of breath allowing all that exists in this moment to be as exactly as it is observing and allowing letting go For athletes and runners, this posture is very good for preventing varicose veins and easing the joints or inflammation. For everyone, it's good just to restore the nervous system. So if you have the time, you're most welcome to stay there longer. If you're comfortable, you can most definitely stay there longer. If you need to come out just for kind of this lunch hour practice for those of you working from home, bend the knees. Roll to the side and a curl into fetal pose. Take a pause, take a breath, and then push your hands off the earth. I'm going to return to the pose we started with, Sukhasana, the easy pose. Sitting comfortably cross legged on your pillow or chair. Thumb to first finger, wisdom mudra, close the eyes. And just settle in your posture for a brief meditation, just simply focusing on the breath, feeling that nice strong core you have now, availability to sit tall from the other active exercises and yoga asana. See how that affects your posture, your ability to focus and relax. And simply watch the breath for silent meditation. Now 
If you have time, you can sit here for 10, 30, or even 60 minutes just watching breath or using a mantra if you use. But if you have to close the practice to return to your workday, just bring the hands together, give a little rub of the hands. Bow the head to the heart. Honor yourself for doing this work to keep the mind and body at ease and healthy. I honor you for doing your yoga. Keep up with it. Namaste means my soul your, honors your soul. My truth honors your truth. Namaste. Or you can place one hand over the heart, one on the navel. Any symbol to kind of honor your body, honor yourself. And we honor each other. Namaste. You can end in yoga mudra, sitting on the heels or from cross-legged. Try to have your brow point touch the earth, hold the wrist, take a breath. Come up, kind of ease back into your day or work day, feeling the balance. Not just that the yoga brings, but today for fall.